so <coughs> once you opening this plan sift uh, basically plan sift is the cost estimation software um, but what is the difference between the plan sift and the cost tex cost tex you can use for 2d takeoff 3d takeoff that means bim takeoff also you can do over there but plan sift purely 2d takeoff that means you can take the takeoff from the uh, pdf picture and uh, uh, autocad drawings okay so when you open over here uh, here okay you can see this is the um, plan sift uh, user interface and here you can see all your drawings one by one and the dimensions also will be coming over there once we take and this is the template these all are the default template which is available over there but we will learn how to use the template and we will learn how to create our own template also so we'll see that how can we create um, and take the quantities from the plan sift for that first you need to go to the new okay when you click you can just go to the plan sift and you select new that means you are creating new one and when you click here open you are creating the uh, creating and open the uh, i mean uh, you're, you're not op uh, creating you are opening the one which is already existed over here you can see some sample projects over there and this is also i have created both is there you can just open any one any of this one or else what you can do you can create um i mean you can create the new one so anyway i'm just going to create the new one here but before creating this one you have to go to the settings in the settings you can see data storage locations currently the data storage location is local if i want i can select that means when you create the file that file will be stored in this local locations that local location is um, um, basically in, inside the plan sift there is local uh, i mean one folder called local it will be saved over there it's always better you can create your own local files that means you can decide where your data should be i just click here new then name new folder storage or you can select you just click over here let me see over here new folder storage i'll just give the name maybe like you know the name i'll give i'll just type your name then the colors in case that's optional if you want you can select it see here the new one is coming and the folder i click here and i choose the folder um, we have already one folder with your name so we'll just go to that folder document mm, my data inside the my data student and i select here this is the folder i select then i click ok that means that file the one which is created that is going to store in this location then you click here finish plan software expecting to find the file dxml but it's appeared to be missing as a result you may be missing information please check your result carefully click yes to see more information on this issues or click no to continue that means it's saying that there is some file missing data.xml file is missing in this folder so actually when i create the folder i should have go there and save this file so anyway currently i'll just close this one then i'll just remove this one now initially we will use the local one then later we will see how can we create this one because i'll tell you why, why i'm saying you go to the um, see think in document no not in document c program files c program files and there you can see plan sift okay and you can just go to the data you select your storages and you can this is that xml file data.xml file they are talking about Mm. see it's an xml 
dot xml file so i have to copy and paste it over there and i need to check currently this is our locations in this locations also you can see this data then you have to go to the job and there you can see the job the one which i have already there see this is the data file they are talking about so anyway we'll see that currently we'll go in case you wanted to create it you have to create it over here currently we'll go with the local one okay so come back then you go to the home so currently we were in the settings then i came back to the home once i came back to the home um, I can see over here new I'll just click on the new and I'll just give the job number I give job number 101 just to identify class file okay then you can just write the notes accordingly then you click over here you can see that new job location is local you have selected local for the location of this job the site of a set of plans will only be available from this computer and not from the network yeah that's fine and where where is that location that you can see over here then you click here and you can see english or metric i'm just going to use the metric that means millimeter meter normally meter we are going to use it so I select here the meter then I click next so once I create here I have to choose my file where I have so how can I choose I have to select here browse I have selected from here the document that same cost X training files I have selected this folder I select then I click OK so I, you can see all these files in that folder now after this I'll be selecting one file ground floor plan I just select this then I click here next then normally the PDF files will be convert to TIFF it is recommended and it will be in grayscale and DPI for uh, this value you can increase it suppose you know you wanted to get the high resolution files then you can click here next PlanSoft is now ready to create new job then you click here finish Okay, I just cancelled that because before adding this I have to show you you just go to that quantity summary there you can see here a new folder in this no job is currently open okay um, I'll just open a job open you can see here no, that is also cancelled so I'll just click here no 101 because I cancelled that one class file local and select here metric then you click next um, basically it is taking over here it is asking us to select any of this one anyway I'll just simply select this um, ground floor okay I select this one ground floor plan next uh, I'll change this one into 300 dpi next and click finish So once you've done that, you can see here how it is coming. Then you can just select from here pages and see here. This is the one which is already there. Now you have to go to the pages. In this pages, you can see rotate left. 
it is rotated left and it is placed over here yeah that's it what i done i went to the page there you can see rotate left rotate right 90 degrees same like cost text we have done right so currently i have used this rotate left so it is rotated and placed and when you make it bigger and smaller you will be able to see all these things over here <clears throat> now our drawing is ready but it is saying not to scale that means it is not scaled the drawing has to be scaled to use so i'll click here home then how can i scale this one for example i know from here to here it is 7.315 right 7.315 meter so i'll be selecting here the scale and i have to choose here how much i need 7.315 i select here 7.315 i type then click ok then you have to keep the mouse pointer here click to the first point i just click on this point and i drag this point then it's 7.315 yes it is changed once it is changed you could have checked the other one let's say i click here um, the dimensions and i have to click from this one to this one you can see 6.30 which is six six thousand two hundred and ninety nine which is six point three so we have done that now i have to check here too i select the dimensions and i have to click on that point okay this point to this point mm, i have to come 7.315 so that is also correct everything is correct so this is the method to scale it so we have scaled that one then you select this just right click and you can just go to the properties when you go to the properties here you can see the uh, the name you can just click here and you can delete it then you click ok i mean you can rename um, this one from here then you click ok so that is placed over here now our file is ready to do the quantity so i'm just going to do the quantities now so let's see you take off summary you can see here i'm just going to create a new folder i click here new folder enter the name for the folder i just add here finishes finishes that is the folder name then click ok so you can see it is created then again i click here uh, i click and add finishes then i add here floor finish okay, capital letter small letter anything you can add let's say i'll do floor finish then i click ok so you can see here there is one folder called finish inside the folder finishes you can see the floor finish now we will be going to the page and bookmarks when you click over here um, okay the takeoff it is there now we are just i'm just creating over and clicking on this one i have to find out the area so you can see this uh, takeoff tool here area linear segment count etc first we are going to learn the area uh, first i just need to take the area of this cafeteria cafeteria one two one so i just click on this area and i have to give here cafeteria um how much we said one two one yes one two one then the color you can choose here and you can choose the folder i selected here finishes folder finish i am going to place it under this finishes folder okay cafeteria one two three and if you want you can change the colors in case you required i'll just change the color also then click ok anyway by default it will be taken one color uh, later on you can choose your own colors then i'll be just click on this point then i just drag up to here then i need to click here then let's say 
we are just taking the floor finishes click here and uh, up to here then here then up to here then just right click you can select suppose i just wanted to finish here i can give stop if i wanted to take new then i have to do new selection so currently i do finish so once i select this one you will be able to see here under this one cafeteria one two one one forty four point eight nine that you can see over here so let me just go back to the pages and books marks here also you can see 144.9 square meter clear right okay then i have to just right click on this see basically when you keep the mouse pointer here you can see that what is the total area uh, and the linear tool that means perimeter is 52 points we have taken nine points over there this is what nine points you have clicked up i have clicked here nine points so all these details you will get it then you just right click here and you just give here show label once you do show label you will be seeing that labels over here before you were not seeing the label now you can see the label exactly what is the cafeteria uh, i mean the the name and the label you see then you just click over here uh, i can just go to the yeah here from here you can turn on and off the labels i mean you can see the things from here so once i've done this you have to just right click outside and you can see the show legend when you click on this show legend bottom of this drawing you will be seeing the legend see this is that cafeteria area uh, and you can see 149.9 square meter the same thing you will be getting here and the label style also here got it now okay so we created this and next maybe i'm just going to use this foyer area okay so for the foyer again i'll be using over here the area then i select here foyer foyer that number also you can give because uh, maybe the next level when we do the same name will be coming but number is different so i'm using here the different name so then you can select here again it has to come under the finishes uh, floor finish then i click here okay okay then i have to choose from here to this area so let me just select from here to here then you go down that is the launch up to here you have to do i done up to here because this area is corridor i think yes mm, no up to here You can do control C, control Z, Z, control Z, command to do this. Then I will give up to here. Okay. Then I will give up to here. Here. okay i have given something like this then i just right click here and i do here stop so you can see here the total foyer area is 319.2 square meter then after this you can see here this one we have to subtract these areas how can we do the subtractions over here because in costex we were using negative quantities right then we we just select the negative quantities then automatically it will be deducted from there and later the last class i have showed you one more options there uh, and, uh, i mean convert to cut out that means it it's 
something like subtractions so i have to use the same method i have to subtract the area currently you see here 319.20 then i just right click and you can see here su sub subtract from selections i click this one then i click on this point then this point i do here and here right click and stop so you can see that that much area is subtract before 390 now it has become 296 point something then again i just right click from here subtract from selections or subtract from selection box that also you can use that means you have to i think here like a box instead of points you can do it as a box okay that also we subtracted then just right click and stop then again you have to right click subtract you can select this is point to point and this is like a box then you have to select this point currently i'm select because it's a rectangular format so we can just do in this way i have done that just right click and i do stop so you can see here this foyer is calculated now the foyer area after this cutout it is 252.2 square meter now let's say here the next one i'll just go here you can see here the conference instructions so these all things are coming in uh, what you can say um, in rectangular format right so i'll select here construct cut, uh, conference so i have to use here area then i choose conference conference then i will be using here the number 103 conference 103 then again the same thing then click ok so before how i was taking the uh, area like i click on this point this point etc but you see here record mode i click here instead of point to point i change into box so i can just click on this point okay i'll be just click on this point and i drag so but um, always remember that this will be applicable only for the square shape uh, i mean um, rectangular shape so i have done that then i just right click stop right click and i do here show labels so you can see the labels in case you want to see it uh, and you don't want to see the labels you can just remove i mean uh, you can remove that also right click and you give here height uh, not height control z i mean from this one turned off the label because label sometimes it will be bigger especially this area now you see here uh, here you have instructions here here instructions so instead of crea creating the instruction 104 105 106 etc i'm just creating an instructions then all the instructions i'm going to take inside but when you do this one you remember that here we are just create because in cost text uh, we should not think the way how we think for the cost text because in cost text you have the dimensions group and inside the dimensions group you can take many quantities but here it is not like that so what I'm going to do, I'll be selecting here area and we have to select here instruction, instruction, I'll be selecting from 104, 5, 5, 6, 8. So I'll be using over here 104 to 108, 104 to 108, okay. Then you can select the color and the fill type instead of solid if you want you can select the hatch patterns also and you can choose the default hatches here the carpet horizontal line carpet washes like this the hatches also you can select it maybe i'll be selecting the carpet hatch hatch pattern scale we have selected and the color of the hatch patterns i select something like that we'll see that instead of solid color i'm using the hatch patterns and you can see over here floor finish then i click ok now i'm just going to make sure this is the mode is in box mode and i click on this and i'll be selecting up to here 
just we have taken so you can see 47.8 now i am going to take the next construct uh, next room from here to here okay then i'm just going to select the next one then next also instructions okay so once we done this you can see all these instructions are added into this one then you just right click and you can see here stop so you can see it is created now now when you select this you see this it is overlapped I don't want because this is the wall this is the wall it's represent the wall so I have taken inside so in case if I want I can just simply click and I can see what is the area over here 89.32 and this will be 47.49 and this will be 96.71 and this is the 47.81 and together it is coming 281.3 square meter so this is the way so then I have turned on over there this um, what we say for that um, the legend so all these legends are created over here till now what I have taken hatch pattern hatch pattern style colors etc okay that's fine now we have to see here uh, later on you wanted to take um, this also into the instruction see here 117 that you can take it uh, how what you need to do you have to select this one then again you have to go here and you have to select the area and you have to click here and you need to select it the same method now let's see i have done all these things then yeah i have to create this launch i have launch here this launch this launch and uh, maybe i have some other launches here so anyway i'm just going to select all these things so you can again go to the area and i select here launch and uh, click ok and again i convert from here point mode because you see here this is not in the um, rectangular format so i can just select this Control Z. Make sure always properly you click. Okay. Right click. Then again I select new selections. This I have taken. Then where else I need? Uh, the launch here. I click on this to here here right click new selections then you have to check you how somewhere else i think only these two okay so in that case you can just click here and do stop so that is taken over here so this is the way you can take it Okay, I have to select this also instructions into that. Where is that one?
click here new selections Okay, we'll see that it's not activating now. Okay, I'll just click here area now. I have to select here office and uh, I have one office here and any other offices here. No, one office, one administration. So I'm just going to select um, all these things. Uh, office administrations this conference office administration all this area I'm going to consider as one called office okay so I'll be just selecting here office then you can see click ok then you have to select here and select this this is your conference area okay new selections next one this office uh, you can take it separately conference office etc but currently I'm taking all this area together into office so I select from here to here new selections then I will be selecting here record point to point into this one you click not from there from this point because it is snapping to that point so I select from here till here then the storage area also I'll be selecting from here to here so you can see that total the office is selected 81 point so separately you can see it when you keep the mouse pointer over there and total it is coming here now let's say we'll go here i'll click on this digitalize record then i'm just going to add this also into this one you can just click on this instructions from here to here that means this is also added into this one just right click stop okay so this is also part of uh, instructions now and you can see the cafeteria I have here uh, not cafeteria conference I have taken conference 103 I have one more thing over here uh, conference and you can see here I have let me just close this just right click show legend because this legend uh, is sh you know showing over here all these legends so I'm not able to see this clearly so this also I need to add into the instructions and this I have to add into the conference so I click on the uh, conference this one then you can just click here digit digitizer record you just click on that make sure it's box or point to point currently it is square so you can just um, uh, I think control C I deleted that one because I don't want that we don't have anything here I have to do 
uh, here only so we have to select your conference then you have to select your digitalize record and I have to use this area conference this one click on this point again you click and you can select it okay so just right click stop then this also I need to add into the instructions click on the instructions digitalize a record then you have to keep the mouse pointer here and click it's activated now this will be considered as a zero value then you need to add up to here see here this is the way it, it comes then you can just right click and you can give here stop i have finished this one so almost all the areas we have taken we have few other things here but it's okay i'm not taking everything now uh, after you have done this you can just see all the quantities what i have taken here and you just go to the quantity takeoff and you can see these all i have taken inside the floor finish right you can see here the floor finish inside the floor finish you see cafeteria and all those things here i have taken if i turned off you will not be seeing it so that you can see in quantity takeoff and when you go to the page and books marks here you will be able to see this one so this is the way we take the area now we have learned how to take the area how to repeat the area later i mean first i have taken the instructions here then later i have added this and this also to the instructor with the help of uh, digital records and here we have subtracted the areas uh, and here in case you want the label to be visible you have to just right click show label you give so the label will be visible over there uh, see here this is for this one the minus quantity you can see it but anyway I don't want to take the one here now so I'll just right click and I have to remove the show label so just understand that this is the way you could have done everything and that area has been taken over here so this is the method to take the area of i mean floor finish so the same thing you could have used for the anything like area you take you can use this one and uh, what if you wanted to take the wall finish then for example i have to take the wall finish but wall finishes little bit complicated i'll tell you why i'm saying that it is a bit complicated because wall is okay i'll just show you first you can see here i have a wall okay i just wanted to take the length wall normally we measure by the length so i select here linear uh, i'll just cancel let me just go to the conference Mm, okay this one I'll change the color from here mm -hmm. yeah I just change that color because the other color is very dark color so I have just simply change the color it's okay you can choose any color okay now the next thing what we need to do we, we have to select um the wall okay uh, but uh, today i'll show you how how you can see take the single wall length or wall area how to take it so this is what we we are going to wall area calculations uh, but in more complicated way how can you do it with um, door and window openings that we will discuss later first i'll, I'll just take the total wall area so for this one you can just go to the folder again you go to the quantity summary and here i select the finishes then i'll be just click over here um, new new folder and i just type here under the finishes i'll i use wall finishes wall finishes when you select here the wall finishes you can see here that that is coming under this finishes see okay 
then you go back to your page and bookmarks then we are just going to create for the wall finishes so you can select here wall area you click on this area there you can see oh, no linear there you can see the wall area uh, the first one when you select the linear you are selecting the length for example first i'll take the length and i just type here wall length wall um let's say exterior okay i have selected it is length okay then i click here inside the wall finishes i just given then i click here okay so you can see here the wall exterior is coming then i'll be clicking from this point and you drag up to here you have to choose this and you have to choose up to here so i just click right click stop so you can see the total wall length is 29.3 meter this is just to take the wall length nothing else but this is basically a wall length and you just go to the folder quantity summary and you can just see over here the wall finishes and you can see the wall exterior which is coming under the wall finishes now and you can just turn on and off see here you don't want to see that here you can turn off from here right you can turn on and off uh, that means you know when you take the uh, next quantity suppose you don't want to see when you turned off from here it is not turning off here it is turning off from here but you can see that quantity is there but that line you don't see over here because maybe the next time when i'm taking the again this edges maybe this edge may uh, disturb you know so you can just turn on and turn off from there it's optional anyway i'll just turn on next what i want to do i have to see the wall area for example my this wall is uh, let me say that uh, uh, what we can say like um four meter height okay so in that case uh, how i will be taking the quantity four meter or 3.5 whatever it is so um we know that wall what does the wall area wall area in the sense the length of the wall multiplied the height of the wall right so we are just going to create here linear inside the linear you can see the wall area so when you select this wall area again you can see here wall finishes you just click over here the color everything is there then wall height i'm just going to give the height of the wall is um maybe 3.5 that is the height of my wall number of wall sides you just wanted to take both side of the wall then you have to give here two you wanted to take only one side of the wall then it has to be one so currently i'll be giving both side of the wall two i given one wall is having interior face and exterior face so both the side of the wall i have taken then the wall width i'll just give here 0.3 actually the wall width is not so important over there this is the wall height i have taken this then i click okay once i select this i'm just going to take the wall i'll just click over here um and i have to take up to here then i will be taking here okay then i'll just right click then i will be using here stop once i do here you can see the wall area is calculated 231 how this 231 is coming you go to the takeoff you can just see over here and not the takeoff page this one see here it is coming square feet so i'll just double click from here and i go to the advance and you can see the quantity it's coming in square feet now i'll change the square feet into square meter because i need to give here meter squares so i change that into square meter square feet i change into square meter then you can just click here okay so you can see that total um 
wall area it has changed now no again double click again I will be going to the advance take off square meter and the quantity mm. we'll just click on this wall wall area take off is same like you can see here which is given here that linear total multiplied by wall height in the face of side uh, which is square feet 205 but mm -hmm. estimating quantity so from where we have get that uh, square meter then click over here ok see here it is changed into square meter that means I just click over here and I select that dance and it was in square feet here input and the output so I change uh, that into square meter and I have changed that into square meter now so once you done this you can click ok then you just go to the um, where is that one you can just see wall exterior uh, or wall area i have selected uh, go to the quantity and you have to turn off this one then i keep the mouse pointer here see at 29.33 29.33 we use the calculator here because we have to make sure we what we are getting is correct or not 29.33 multiplied by how much we have given 3.5 then click ok it it will be coming 102 for one phase then we said it is two phase multiplied by 2 which is 205.31 see that is the same thing coming that means when you taken taken for the both the wall the other side of the wall inside wall and outside wall both so that multiplied by 2 clear right but actually when you select um, slight difference will be there because you see here now this wall it goes up to here then extend from here but this wall this thickness this much distance will be will not be considered for inside wall right so exactly multiplied by 2 is uh, not the exact quantity but anyway uh, if any walls both the side not the corner type wall I'm saying both the side finish you need to take it then only with one quantity and one measurements you can take both the side over here okay so this is the way we'll be taking the area uh, i mean wall area so we have learned two things here one is taking the wall length length of the wall how to take it and we have learned how to take the wall uh, area that also we have done Mm, then what else yeah that's two wall area we have taken and the quantities we have changed and uh, then the floor finish areas we have taken so the next class we have to learn because that is little bit more procedure how can I deduct all the dose because currently I got the wall area of 205.31 but that's not the real wall area because I have the doors, I have the windows, so I have to remove all those things from there. So how we do that in Costex, we were um, just adding the manual quantity or uh, you can just deduct it from there. Something like that method we have used. But here it is completely different. You have to create, directly you don't have any method over here. You have to create the template to do that. So the template creation is little bit long procedure that we will do the next class but now I'll do the cancel and uh, next what we need to do let's say I have to take here few more quantities um, preparation storage so these two uh, I'll just create here one uh, this one called preparation and storage and we have to measure this so you have to select it again the area and select it from here floor finish 
and you can choose some other colors in case you want or you go with the same thing then you have to give here um, preparations and storage preparation and storage area then click ok now I have to select I'll give here box so click from here to here then we have to click from here to here okay now I have to use okay so this drawing uh, we have done just right click and you can do the stop next I have to take but so this is the CAD drawing uh, sorry PDF drawing now I need to select the CAD drawing I need to import the CAD drawing to import the CAD drawing um, how can I use this one again let's say I'll be just going to the pages and this one just right click um, I click here page then you can just go to the um, we have to see here add pages options I click on add pages from image files next and I have to select here the uh, I'm, I'm just uh, first I'll use different one I'll just click here and where we were before uh, I mean our folder was in C Mm, this one cost X trainings okay so you see all these things here from there I'll be selecting this one first floor uh, first floor plan yeah I select this one first floor plan then click here next uh, downsize large okay that's fine then I click here next and I click plan shift is now ready to add the selected page to your job once you click finish plan shift will convert the new image files if needed and copy them into the job then i click here finish so once i done this see here nothing is happening where is my drawing here i'm not able to see the drawing here that means that cad file is not accepting the reason you have to save the cad file in old format then only you will be able to take it over here so what you need to do with you have to go to the AutoCAD AutoCAD then you click open this is that file then we go to the model this is that file and we have to save this file in old format so select this you click here save as drawing then from that you can just go down um, see I have created one folder here called plan shift so I'll select I just remove this one this is I done before okay then here you can see I'll just remove this name I need okay then here currently it is the latest um, CAD format is 2018 you have to save into the old format which is Autodesk 2000 format you just select this one so I select this 2000 LT 2000 drawing format and I click save so that is saved now then you can just close this you come back over here I click here add page from images next click browse you have to select cost text here you can see the plan shift okay there you can see the file which I have saved now I'll just click on that click here next next and click finish 
see here it's downloading now once it's downloaded you can see here first floor plan you click over here and you can see two things over there you click on this this is our drawings and you click over here this is that um, um, layout uh, so actually I don't want this so you can just select this and you can delete this okay we have to keep over there only the first floor plan this one so now you have everything then you have to make the dimensions now let's say scale first so again you have to go to the home you select the scale uh, suppose you know what is the scale here if they have given you the scale you can just assign the scale over there but in this case they did not give so that means i'm saying you can select one is 200 one is to 200 like this the scale you can use it or else you have to use the same method and you give here 2.8 meter 2.8 then i click ok then i will be selecting from this point to this point okay this one to this point so you can see that 2.8 over there so let me just keep it over here now i have to check the dimensions for the next one from here to here to here it is 2. Point, yeah 2.3 correct and um, vertically also i'll check i'll select the dimensions from here and you click on this point and you have to select up to this point 7.313 so that is the same thing here 7.315 so now CAD drawings also we have taken over here then we scaled so when you take the CAD drawing always remember that uh, you can uh, I mean you have to save in the old format then uh, normally the new all the new versions when you work on the new versions of the software it will be automatically saved in 2018 format that is not acceptable save in the old format like 2000s or some something then you will be easily able to take it over here okay so we'll continue with this one the next class any questions or anything now oh okay. man so anyway these softwares are available you just download install and try to do some practices okay 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 then see you next class